When I was younger, a lot younger, <laughs> and learning about how to pot a ball, how to control the white ball, if I'm honest, we played anything but snooker. We devised games on the snooker table, with cricket, for example, on a snooker table. Continental. We'd even play golf on a snooker table. These were all games that we devised as, as youngsters. One of my favourites was a game we call Scrub. There's many versions of it, but one of my favourites, the one I'm going to show you now. The benefits of it are, A, it teaches you to cue properly, just as in snooker. It teaches you how to control the white ball, and it teaches you about cannonball play. So the benefits of playing this game are endless when it comes, when you transfer it to playing the actual game of snooker. Now I want to emphasise this is not for the very, very good players. This is for your average uh, beginner and club player. But it will teach them an awful lot when they come to transfer it to the actual game of snooker. Now in this game of scrub, you pot, you score rather, by pots and cannons. But there are certain restrictions on the potting. The yellow, for example, although you get two points, all the, po the points are the same as in snooker, you get two points, but it can only be potted in its own pocket. The green can only be potted here, in this pocket. The blue can only be potted in either of the two middles. The black ball can only be potted in the two ends. The pink is the floater. That can be potted in any pocket on the table. Now, the red ball. If you touch the red ball, by, by any means, the cue ball or another object ball, or you play any other foul shot, such as a miscue or going in off, then you scrub your score. If you've scored 30 points and you foul the red or you miscue, you scrub your score and you go back to zero. Now what we used to do was we played to 31 points. Now the 31 points must be got exactly. If you get 30, you can't score one, so you, in effect you've scrubbed. If you get 32 points, too many, you've scrubbed. You must get 31 exact. Now if you win the game by getting 31, then the next game we handicap you by 10 points. So now instead of getting 31, you've got to get 41. All right, and if you win that one, then you've got to get 51. You get 51, uh, if, if you lose the next game or your friend wins that one, then he goes up to 41, you come back down from 51, down to 41. That's how the game work. Now we used to play with 10 on the table, <laughs> as many as 10 on the table. You can play it with two, you can play it with three, four, five, but I can, on occasions we'd have as many as 10 people playing the game. It's a recreational game, it's good fun, all right? It's good fun, let's be, let's be honest about it. You know, we're here to enjoy ourselves, but learn as well. It teaches you an awful lot about, in particular, controlling this thing. Right, the first scoring shot must be off the black. So you play from hand, and I must try to either pot the black or try to get a cannon. Now obviously potting the black is very difficult. So I will try to get a cannon on one of the bulk colours. Now I've missed my cannon, so now it's another person's go. So he'll come round here and he must try to start off the black. Now if, remember the black can only be potted in these two pockets here. So if he pots the black in the middle here, he must scrub his score. Even okay, he's got no score to scrub, but he's lost his turn. So here, I'm just trying to get a cannon on a bulk colour. But I've potted the black. So although I've got the cannon, I've scrubbed. 
right the black comes back up onto the spot and it's the next player's turn again he must try to score off the black Still no cannon. Now here I'm snookered on the black, but I still must try to hit it. Okay? So here a little swerve shot. And now I've played a cannon on the pink, I've got two points. Now that I've started, I can go for anything I like okay so here what I will try and do is I'll try and pop the yellow and play a cannon on the blue well I've got the cannon uh, sorry I've got the pot but missed the cannon again I get two more points so I've scored four now here the pink is a floater so that can go in any pocket so here, pot the pink, I might try to play for another pink in the same pocket. So now I've scored 10 points, I can, the pink comes back up, I can try to go for another pink, and this is why I say it's no good for the good players because you just play position here. So I've, I've scored how many points is it now? So that's 16 points, another pink, twenty-two. Now if I pop the pink again now, twenty-eight, the only ball I can use then is the green. So we pop the pink. There's twenty-eight, and I've played position on the green. But let's say the green was here, as an example, now it's become very tactical because my opponents are going to make sure that green is going to be well away from this pocket. Okay? Starts to get very interesting, a lot of fun, and learning a lot about the, the game, how to control this ball, yeah, how to play your cannons and stuff like that but most enjoyable game and you know as many people as you like can play it so good luck with your practice